In January, I took another trip to Utah. This time, I explored some southern areas, which included lands of the Paiute, Pueblo, and Ute peoples. If you want to support indigenous people in this area, you can follow the link here, boop, or in the caption, for the Utah Navajo Health System. I have been to Utah a few times, uh, mostly in the Moab area. Um, I also went to Canyonlands in November, which was amazing. Um, so this time exploring the southern area was a little bit different for me, and it was super cool to see Zion, Bryce, Capitol Reef, and Grand Staircase Escalante all in one week. My first day, I explored some state parks and forest roads. I found a free campsite with an incredible view of the stars. I could see the Milky Way, and I even saw a few shooting stars. The next day, I headed over to Zion. Because I cut across Utah on I-70 and then dropped down south on 15, I worked my way west to east, starting at Kalab Canyons. This side of Zion does not see as many visitors, but it's just as stunning. If a park is out and back, I typically like to drive all the way to the end and then work my way back. After the scenic drive through Kalab, I did the Taylor Creek hike to Double Arch Alcove, which was incredible. I only saw a couple other people on the trail, the scenery was beautiful, and the alcove was huge. It was impossible to photograph, but sometimes that makes those spots that much more magical. Next, it was on to the main part of Zion. The blue color of the Virgin River was beautiful, and I couldn't believe how tall the canyon walls were. But this side was a lot more crowded, and when I was on the trail, a lot of people were passing close to me without a mask on, so I didn't feel super comfortable. So instead of doing some of the hikes that I had planned, I decided to just take my time driving through, stopping where there were less people around, and enjoying the view as I made my way toward Bryce.
Overall, it was an amazing trip, and I definitely recommend visiting Zion if you ever get the chance.